Hello everybody, welcome back. It's good to have you. Go ahead and get your marker or your ready. Your marker or your pencil ready. We're going to start counting by fives all the way up to 100. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it today. Nope, I definitely didn't. Go ahead and finish up while I finish up mine all the way up to 100. All right, let's count out loud. Here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 35, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Let's count that one more time, but I'm not going to point to each number. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Nice job, everybody. Go ahead and clear your board. Next one we're going to do is count by twos. I'm going to set my alarm for 30 seconds, and I'm going to see if you can do it without any help from me. Okay? On your mark, hit set, go. While you do it, I'll do it. You try and do it from your memory. Nice job. Let's go ahead and count by twos. You ready? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. Let's do that one more time. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. Nice job, everybody. Go ahead and clear your board. Now we're gonna count backwards from twenty to help us remember how to count. Backward when you have to subtract. On your mark, get set, go. Count back from 20 to 0. Nice job. Are you ready? 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Let's do that one more time. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Nice job, everybody. All right, here we go. We're going to do our two-digit number practice. I'm going to write three of them. We're going to read them and then write them in picture form and expanded form. Go ahead and read this first one. 43, you're right. Go ahead and read the second one. 79, you're right. Read the last one. 28, nice job. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to go ahead and draw the picture form and expanded form. On your mark, get set, go.
All right, keep going. Finish this up. Here we go. 43 has four tenths and three ones. We say 43. So we have 40 plus 3. 79 has seven tenths and nine ones. We say 79. So we write 70 plus 9. 28 has two tenths and eight ones. We say 28. So we write 20 plus 8. Nice job, everybody. The next thing we're going to do is compare a few numbers. So I'd like you on your board to go ahead and compare each set of numbers. Okay, between 8 and 9, which one's bigger? 9 is bigger. How will we read this? We'll read it. 8 is less than 9. Nice job. These are two-digit numbers. We underline the first number in the tens place. 3 and 3 equal each other, so we have to look at the second number. 1 and 7. 7 is bigger than 1, so we would have the mouth open to 37 because nice job. On the next one, we're going to underline the 4 and underline the 1 because they're both in the tens place. 4 is bigger than 1, so our mouth is going to be open to eat the 48 because 48 is the bigger number. And we would read it 48 is greater than 19. Good job, go ahead and clear your board. The next thing we're gonna do is do the next number. I'm gonna write down some numbers and I'd like you to write the next number that comes after it. All right, read this number out loud. 41, you're right. What number comes after 41? 41. Two. Nice job. Here's your next one. Read that number. What number comes after 85? It goes 85. 86. Nice job. Take a look at this number. What number is this? 50. What number comes after 50? 51. Nice job. Go ahead and erase your board, everybody. The very next thing we're going to do is we're going to practice our hundreds place value. Remember, it's hundreds, tens, and ones. I'm going to give you a number. I'd like you to write it in standard form and then in expanded form. Here we go. 196. 196. 100. 96. To write that in expanded form, we say 100, so we write 100. We say 90, so we write 90. We say 6, so we write 6. 100 plus 90 plus 6. Go ahead and clear your board. Let's do another one. 149. 100 49. Write the number 149. We say 100. We say 40. We say 9. So 100 plus 40 plus 9. Nice job. Go ahead and clear your board. I'm going to write down two numbers now and I'd like you to say them out loud and then write them in expanded form. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to do that. On your mark, get set, go.
Here we go. A few more seconds. All right, nice job. We read this number, it says 137. 100 plus 30 plus 7. Nice job. The next one, 152. We say 100. We say 50. We say 2. So in expanded form, it's 100 plus 50 plus 2. Nice job, everybody. Clear your board. The next thing I'd like you to do is write out your numbers with all their touch points. You have 30 seconds. On your mark, get set. Nice job, everybody. Go ahead and check your work. I'm going to give you another 30 seconds to copy it again. On your mark, get set, go. Nice job, everybody. All right, the next thing we're going to do is some adding. Clear your board. I'm going to write up four problems, and I'd like you to go ahead and copy them down. And then I will give you 30 seconds to go ahead and solve them. We have 47 plus 18. We have 68 plus 79. And we have 64. Plus 74. Go ahead and copy those down, and I'm going to give you 30 seconds. On your mark, get set, go. Nice job. If you didn't get finished, that's okay. We're going to grade them and check them right now. Circle my big number, which is 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 is a two digit number, so I'll put my 5 down and I'm going to regroup and carry my 1. I'm going to circle my 4, 4, 5, 6. My answer is 65. Next one, bigger number between 8 and 9. 9 is the bigger number. Count 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Put my 7 down. I'm going to regroup and carry my 1. My biggest number here is a 7. I'm going to circle my 7. Count 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Don't forget to come up here and count 1, 14. My answer is 147. 147. On the next one, 4 and 4 are equal. So I want to circle the first one. Say 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There is nothing to regroup or carry, so there's no number up here. Here I'm going to circle my 7. I'm going to say 7, 8, 9, and 11, 12, 13. My answer is 138. 138. Nice job, everybody. Go ahead and clear your board. And the final thing we're going to do is going to be a few subtraction problems. 
So if you would, go ahead and copy these down. And it will be up to you to determine if you have to regroup and borrow in each problem. All right, we've got 40 minus 18, 81 minus 37, and 87 minus 64. I'm going to go ahead and give you 30 seconds. On your mark, get set, go. Keep going. Remember, if you circle a big number on the bottom, that means you have to borrow. All right, here we go. Let's do this first one. Between zero and eight, zero is less than eight, so eight is the big number. I'm gonna circle it. Big number on the bottom, so I have to borrow. Big bottom borrow. So that means I have to put a one in front of the zero to make it a 10. I'm gonna cross off the four, and that becomes a three. Now I'm gonna come backwards, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three. Excellent. I'm going to circle my big number three, three, two. My answer is 22. Is 22 less than 40? It is. When you subtract, your answer should be lower. Here we go. One and seven. Which one's greater? Seven is greater than one, so I'm going to circle it. Seven is the big number on the bottom. So big bottom borrow. The big number is on the bottom, so we have to borrow. I'm going to put a one. Let me erase that because that's a little too close. So I have 81. I'm going to put one in front of the one to make it 11. I took that one from the eight. So the eight will become a seven. And now I'm going to count backwards. 11. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Put 4 down. Nice job. Here I'm going to circle my big number, which is 7. 7, 6, 5, 4. My answer is 44. Nice job. Between 7 and 4, 7 is the big number, so I'm going to circle the 7. Touch it, say 7, and then count backwards. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. I'm going to circle my big number. My big number is 8. 8 is bigger than 6. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. My answer is 23. Nice job. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our answers and list them in least to greatest order. When we look at 22, 44 and 23, which number is the lowest? 22 is the lowest. So that would be the first number we list because we're listing them least to greatest. Between 44 and 23, which one's less? 23 is less, so 23 will go next. Nice job. And then 44 will go last. So the next thing that we're going to start adding to our list of things that we practice are going to be listing numbers least to greatest. Least to greatest. Least to greatest means from smallest to biggest. Least to greatest. All right, everybody, thank you so much for your attention. You have a great day. Don't forget that there's extra practice available, and I will see you next time.